Hi, welcome to Mom Nation. Um, today, but before you start watching, look at that button there on your right, a red button. Click it. You've subscribed. So today we are going to discuss my favorite topic, which is breastfeeding. Everyone who knows me knows that I love breastfeeding. I could have more children if I was allowed to have more children and just continue breastfeeding. <laughs> but but who, who has stopped you from, breast, from getting more children? You can have more children. Circumstances. <laughs> Circumstances in life. <laughs> Finances and many other things that come with having babies. And age. And age. That too. Age is a very important factor. Yes. So uh, for me, uh, breastfeeding is a very easy thing. It's a very enjoyable thing, but I can't say the same for everyone yeah. out there. Even for you guys, I can't say the same. Yeah. So uh, let's just talk about our experience. Was it hard? Was it painful? Did you have cracking nipples? Did you have a problem breastfeeding in public vis-a-vis -vis private? And I can start with myself. By the way, me, the baby is hungry, the baby is crying. And the nyonyo comes to... out <laughs> and I don't carry a shawl, I don't carry a shawl. So me, do you cover your head when you are eating? Wow. So why wow. does my baby need to, be, to cover their head when they are eating? So for me, if the baby cries, as long as I'm carrying the baby, it's not like, yeah, I'm going to choma my nyonyo right now, but if I'm carrying the baby, yeah. <laughs> Just I know. Just I love doing okay. it. It's yeah, okay. and 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 I remember the first time I had my my first baby. Everybody used to be, like we went to church. I remember going to church with my mom, and the baby cried, and I removed the nyonyo, and uh, the baby was breastfeeding, and my mom was like, "You need to learn to cover your breast." And I asked her why, and she she told me they are private parts, and I was like, eh, yeah? <laughs> "It's food for this child, you know." And she never asked me again. And then in, in, ch in our church, we have, you know, those uh, uh, classes. We have classes mm -hmm. for babies. Mm -hmm. So when we went to that class, I saw mothers. They are struggling. The, the baby mm -hmm. you're removing, then you are covering. Eunice. Eunice. She chopped. And, and as you can see, my nyonyos are not mm -hmm. a small size. Eh? I just, and you know, when the, when the baby is new, they are double this size. So like the nyonyo is big, the baby's head is small. <laughs> I know. Like when, like when you look at the proportion picture, is not the same. The proportion is not the same. The nyonyo is bigger than the baby's head. <laughs> I know. So for me, in, in fact, I find it. I find it so sad when I see people struggling to cover the baby's head, or when I see in the media some mother was chomwad from a restaurant because so she's breast. I'm yeah. like, I'm those ones in the street. I am there for close that restaurant. So for me, breastfeeding is the most natural thing, and mm. it is. It, that's what it is. It is feeding. It is feeding. Yes. It is, feeding. Mm. It is not sexual. So, yeah, it's not sexual. So mm. there's nothing about being shy about it mm. or having to cover your baby's head. But maybe you guys have a different. But time. it's also okay to cover. It it's okay. I, I, it's okay. I, I breastfed, so I didn't have a problem with it. However, I covered, and mm. that this covers where it's it's like a light, like you know the petticoat material. Yes. So it's like a light material, and then the way it's made you wear it and then mm -hmm. it covers you so you're not covering the baby at uh -huh. all so but my you, cover you covers know. my boob uh, okay. especially yes, yes. in public for me first of all my petticoat material just to say it's made made with like a yeah very thin, yeah okay. a very thin yeah. Light. The only way I can think of it is the petticoat material, mm. which was light and some useless. <laughs> nice yeah, so some chick was making and she made some really nice covers mm. that cover the boob, mm. not, not the, the baby. baby. Mm. So my baby is open and if you're, if you're coming to look at what I'm doing, you'll see my Your boob. Mm. boob. Mm. But just because I, you know, for me, I preferred to cover my boob, mm. Mm. not to expose, you know, it. To expose it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Just, just but it also it. depends on where. If yes. I'm seated in my house, eh, we shall be freelancing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If if I'm in your house and maybe there are folks, you know, yeah. there are mm -hmm. things that make you feel like if my dad is seated there, I I'm gonna wear that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If if it's just me and my mom, we shall mm -hmm. yeah. expose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, me yeah. I have bad manners. 
wanted to ask because me, I'm all for you. It's like I breastfeed anywhere when the need comes. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it comes. Uh, that like when you're in public, you've gone to clinics, mm-hmm. uh, church, restaurant. When when they start crying and you know you just want that urge of yeah. nyonya. Now, when do you have time to wear it? Wear it. Like that is a bad thing. Yeah. 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 When I've gone mm-hmm. somewhere, mm-hmm. like um, it's it's almost like if I'm in church and mm-hmm. I'm holding the child mm-hmm. or we're at the clinic, mm-hmm. chances are I'm wearing that kind of thing. Oh, like oh, it's it's part wait. of my accessories. Okay. Oh, so okay. my work is just to unleash the boob. The thing just covers okay. the boob. Oh. Like it's it's not something I need to pick and wear. Mm-hmm. It's not because I'm not for. I'm not going to cover my child with a blanket mm-hmm. or yeah, a shawl yeah, yeah. and breastfeed yeah. them, and and they so, they yeah. won't even enjoy. Yeah, but since yeah. I want to cover my boob, I'm always sort of wearing that. Ca- like it was part of my. Yeah. Especially if I've visited you with yeah. a child, or I'm in the clinic, or I'm seated mm-hmm. at a restaurant, there are so many times I carried, mm-hmm. yeah, that kind of thing. I think we can insert a picture. I can mm-hmm. insert a picture. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But you know, for, for me, it even gets worse. That's why mm-hmm. I'm saying maybe I have bad manners. Because mm-hmm. first, because I love breastfeeding, and I have boys, and they love breastfeeding also. <laughs> they can breastfeed for as long as they want. So yeah. my firstborn was going on year three. So you know we'll be sitting here talking. Mm-hmm. He comes, mami nyonyo. He no. now remove it himself. Yeah, he's standing here me. and he's breastfeeding. I'm you know now at that stage you can't even come. <laughs> you can't even come. <laughs> I'm not a bad alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also that depends on your experience yeah. Of, yeah. of breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are those who found it quite hard. Sometimes yeah. you don't have milk. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can tell us. Now, my experience with breastfeeding. Um, my firstborn. So that whole pressure of mm-hmm. yeah, you the baby has to latch and he needs to, there was a lot of um, pressure to get it right. Mm. So having the baby latch properly was also a very long process. Mm-hmm. Um, by the time they latched properly, I had nipple uh, torn, so torn oh, nipples, wow. yeah, cracked nipples and every so it was really painful. But eventually I got I got to it. It was it's a very nice experience. Yes. You got the baby, yeah. but I didn't have enough. Milk. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and even with my second, it was even worse. I didn't have I- even that one for, um, <clears throat> like the way we are told that you should you should pump so that you can be able to create demand. There's nothing like that. I went to a lactation specialist. Oh. She was baffled. She was like, "Hey, have you tried?" I told her because I went to her the first with my firstborn as well. Mm-hmm. So for me, I was just like, "Hey, now here, me, I'm challenged because I have a newborn. I have mm-hmm. this thing. I've done this. I'm I'm looking at my food. I'm eating. Blah blah blah." She looked at me and she said, "Hey." No, <laughs> even her, even her, she was just like, because because you know what the first time she did when when I was with my girl, mm. she 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 tried to open up my nipples. You know that thing of trying to press your nipples yeah. when when you have mm. when you when you're breastfeeding, yeah. so that the milk can can yeah. come out. Yeah. 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 So what she did was that she just I don't know they were blocked. There were some of them that mm. were blocked. Mm. So she opened them and it made me feel even better because then I could be able to feed my baby. Mm. So now this time there she is. She's kneading. She's kneading <laughs> it. She's kneading it. I was like, okay, this is not working. <laughs> It hurts. It no, no. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, but she, yeah, yeah, she had me need my my boob, and then that's when you remember no dignity. Eh? Yeah. yeah. No, because I was there with my mom, so my mom is holding the baby. At least we had fed him, so there was no pressure to feed him. Yeah. So she's ukoj. We are we are talking. So she thinks that I'm stressed. So we're just mm-hmm. there talking. So she's you know massaging my boob, my nipple. Um, some nozzles start to mm-hmm. to release okay. mm-hmm. milk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then not all of them. So she does the same for this poop. So here I am like a cow, eh? I'm just <laughs> but eventually, yeah, just spilling milk all over her office. But eventually I didn't. It did not, it was it never work. the same. It was never the same like my firstborn. So at that point, mother was just like, um, yeah, I had already began supplementing. Mm-hmm. And mother is just for those things. She's just like, just feed the baby, just feed the baby. Mm-hmm. So breastfeeding, I would not have children because of breastfeeding. More, you would not, have, not more have more children because of breastfeeding. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. your experience was, was not. No, My experience was so weird, and it was first child up to almost two years. She loved the boob, mm-hmm. she, you know, and then second child rejected it at four months. So like I didn't know you can even experience two different, mm. yeah. completely different with two different yeah. human mm. beings, you know. Mm. So it was so weird because I thought 
like in my head I knew we'll start doing these tricks of stopping mm. and putting whatever we put mm. to stop the child. Yeah. But I didn't have to, and mm. hey, and let me tell rejected. you, I felt rejected. Yeah. I was yeah, full of guilt. Mm. I was like, do I work too much? Mm. Am I going to work? Did I go back to work too early? early? Yeah. And I don't know why we always go back to us. I don't know why we always, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah so I was, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. like it was, it was so bad. It was such a horrific experience. And especially if you have milk, Mm-hmm. And then she and refuses, then, so, so I try. Yes, yes. like so food? I expressed, but you see, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So eventually, we supplemented. We did a bit of formula. Then eventually, we went to milk. normal milk. Mm-hmm. Hey, me, I expressed and <coughs> two children. <laughs> I've had my second born and my third born. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At some point, if you don't have milk, I put my milk in a cereal. Give him to drink. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> But then, yeah, it, it's different. Yeah, for me, the experience, okay, baby number one, hey, the first time they breastfed, Why? Yeah, the yeah. first, the, you remember the very first time they yeah. grasped. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and they have to eat. <laughs> and they have to eat. Mm. And then, yeah, just the way you're mentioning, they cracked. Yes. And, and eh, you're just like, and they're supposed to still feed. Mm. Yeah. You know, and yes, they're, su- they're still supposed to feed. So, mm. But after that, we enjoyed and the milk came and, you know, a very good experience in breastfeeding. <laughs> for me, for my firstborn, my baby was mm. born a preemie. So I left him in hospital for two weeks. And I do, thinking back, I don't think I was adequately prepared by the mm. nurses mm. to do breastfeeding after we had come out mm. from hospital. But so as a result, even though I was pumping for him, mm. but as a result, okay, so now we've, we are still pumping, but the baby is here for me to feed. Right. So what I was doing wrong was that I was wiping my nipple after we feed. Mm. Then, then of course we start to crack. So then I realized that uh, milk is actually protective. Mm. It yeah. protects your nipple, nipple. from cracking. Mm. So I stopped doing that. And then, um, and he was a very good feeder, and I had no problem with milk. I even witnessed some people's children in this forum. <laughs> then, <laughs> then um, for my second born. Okay, so. I, we stopped breastfeeding with my firstborn because I was pregnant with the secondborn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then she was also not a very good feeder. So halfway through, we stopped breastfeeding. And that one was like putting a knife in your back mm-hmm. and, and twisting. twisting it and leaving it there. Yeah, yeah it was very, very painful. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I felt actually sad. Like my secondborn, I got pregnant pretty quickly with my third born. So when I got pregnant with my third born, it was a very difficult pregnancy. The first trimester, it was very hard, actually, throughout. It was very hard. Mm. So I would be very sickly, and this, this my one-year-old wants mm. to breastfeed. So I had to literally stop him oh, from boy. breastfeeding. Mm. It was so painful. Mm. Even, when I, even when I look at him today, I, was, I feel sorry for him. Yeah, know. because he didn't get that joy that I think that they should have it. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because now what you would do, like now what I would do if he comes for nyonyo, I give him milk. I quickly produce a mm. bottle of milk. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Then then now it he got used. Then I had to move him out of my room. Mm. He had to go sleep with the with the nanny. And I was like, God, this is so hard. So yeah. so let me ask you. So these guys who have had good milk experiences, <laughs> Akinas. Yeah, Akinas, these guys. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, yeah. these yeah. these yeah. Not, not normal people. Yeah. So what did you do? Like, is there any special diet that you guys were on? Did oh, you yeah. drink all these things? Oshoro, yeah, Oshoro fenugreek, <laughs> dill seeds. Yeah. Um, what else have you had? Soup. What else? Water, jahe, tea, jahe. jahe. Yeah. Did you we did them them all. Yeah. I did them all. Yeah. Uh, but I want uh, thinking back. I wonder if I stopped taking them, would my milk production have yeah. stopped? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. With, with, the, with the first born, with the third born was more actually the production of the third born was not as much as the first, first and the second. Oh. Yeah, okay. it was not. With the first born, I did those things. Jahe, ni, 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 ni. 
then he suffered all the colic because I was eating all those things. But there's a friend of mine who once told me, she said, milk will come was so long as you drink a liquid, any liquid, it will trigger the milk. So with the second born and the last born, I didn't it, I, I didn't do anything special. I just made sure I was taking in a lot of liquids yeah. and eating well. So my third born, that was the, my best production. I had so much milk. I used Your to be like, born. yes. Oh, now, now you're cranking it up. Now yeah. you're cranking it up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It was you going. Know, yeah, five years. Yeah, I was going. Yeah. And, and where were you? With my third born, I used to, my freezer was full. Both my freezers were full. But so you were full like, with all the other ones. Carrie, there's milk here. Please Come just on. put for me my milk. Mm-hmm. She, her freezer was full of my milk. And now friend, two of my other friends, their freezers were full of my milk. So I was like, now where am I going to take milk? But with, I, I, And you can donate milk, by the yeah, way. Because yeah. that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. I, don- I donated milk to an orphanage. Because yeah. now I had so much milk. So I asked the pediatrician, do I throw it away or what do I do? <coughs> because then the, as long the more the milk, and it's even painful for you not to, yes. to express yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I swear by over tea. Called over tea. Over tea, mm, yeah. Yes, it's a multi yes. drink. Yeah. For me, yeah. that's mm-hmm. that's give me milk, over tin, hot water. Mm. Uh, of course the first one I drank the fermented porridge. And the irony is I feel like that thing works immediately. It's not good for colic, it's not good for your weight, it's not good for But it's so yummy. It's so yummy. It's so yummy. <laughs> first it's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then yeah. for me, like I feel like my boobs immediately yeah like there's something with the fermentation yeah. and there are other guys who've taken other fermented yeah. drinks and said it has worked <laughs> yeah. the same way yeah. yeah but also one of one of the things that i remember that happened still with my firstborn was okay so i was pumping my pump broke down so then i had to um okay so the pump broke down i think it was in the middle of the night so I didn't pump that night. I wake up in the morning, oh. Yanni, yeah, my boobs are... Yeah. You know, you don't want anything to touch you. You don't want even to shower because that will mm. stimulate the yes. milk production. You don't want to do this. So, yeah. So now I even went to the hospital. I even went to the, to the, uh, the NICU unit, which is the neonatal ICU. And I asked her, do you have a... Uh, a pump mm. that I can hire or use or whatever. And she's like, no, we don't have those things mm. because of whatever, hygiene. personal hygiene mm. and whatever. Ndiyo who you? Mm. I did think about that. Yeah, you can use the hand. See, now I went to the supermarket and I bought one and when that, whatever started, when the milk now started Coming flowing, out. It's another feeling you cannot. And then now, mm. you're pumping this one. Yeah. This one, this is, one is coming. Yeah. yeah. This one yeah. is now getting it's full. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you pump this and one. And you know, now I even started to and get and a headache. Out. You know, you start feeling you're yeah. getting sick. Yeah. yeah. You actually get sick. Yeah. 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 It was mastitis. Yeah. But that thing of, yeah, yeah. it yeah. was not a nice feeling. What you're saying, demand, like the more you pump, the more milk you have. So you have to keep. You have yeah. to keep your milk production going, whether yeah. by hot water or not. Mm. Yeah. You know, come up with and pumping is a sacrifice. Like I remember, yeah. Yeah. I needed to. At my baby slept all through the night, so the one time that worked, like at four, three a.m. That four a.m. o'clock, <laughs> your boobs are full. Mm. The next time this girl will be up, it's six. So you so you wake up at that time. You yeah, sit in your corner. You pump. Mm. It's a sacrifice. It yes. mm. hey. I remember I did that. Even yes. that so I many times. Many but also yeah. feed your child. Because yes. there are people who like from the beginning, they, it's like you put your child on a certain... Like mm-hmm. on a diet, mm-hmm. no, not, not on a do- or, or, okay. Let me call it a routine. Do you call it yeah, a routine? It's a diet. Yeah, it's sorry, it's not a diet. Yeah, it's a routine. Routine. Yeah. yeah, you want your baby. You don't. You, the baby that's wants that's to breastfeed. Mm-hmm. Me, I remember me and Wangari we discussed and said, so we feed on demand. We just feed on demand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it also helps relieve. But the, routines the, also work for some yeah. people. Yeah. I know some people who swear by routine. Routines at that young age for yes, feeding. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, I just need to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. At that young age, yeah. you're, you're, you're feeding yeah. your There's this lady, she's written a book, I forget. Mm-hmm. But it's it starts your routine from hospital. From like what? yeah. For yeah. feeding. Yeah, it works for it's them. Not on demand? No. Apparently there are people who've been on routine throughout, it's not feeding time, so the child is awake. So now the kid to... can just be uko crying and then you stick a thing in the mouth. <laughs> a pacifier. <laughs> Okay. Not to say that yeah, pacifiers are yeah. not bad. I mean, yeah. no, no, I'm just saying it's Maybe not yeah, bad. Before you wrap up, yeah. um, the time for starting to pump, to oh, express, yes, 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 especially if you're a working mom. For me, the first time I didn't know. 
Um, so I had, you know, full breasts, but I never used to express. I didn't even have a palm. Yeah. Then two and a half months before going back to work, that's when I got a palm. So starting to express and I didn't have enough milk. No, sorry, sorry, the milk was there by the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm going back to work and you can't get enough for the baby throughout the day. Mm-hmm. So as much as I had milk, you know, I, I still had to use none or, you know, supplement because mm-hmm. I didn't start expressing early. early. But now I know better. You should Be- see my freezer. Yeah. But when full. is early enough? When is the right time? Mm. For me, <laughs> yeah, we will yes. say what you had to yes, say. Yes, the right time for me now was like i think the third day after i'd given birth wow. i started expressing yeah, yeah. yes yes there's a milk, milk. Uh, it's yes the cholesterol. Cholesterol. Yeah. even that cholesterol is fine but but you can't store it can you yeah but there was something about that, yeah. that you can't okay like you can't that uh, the first I don't know if I'm right, but mm-hmm. it could be like two. You wait for that first original yeah, cholesterol but it's on the first day. to go away. No, it's, 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 it's like a week, like or, a two week week. or two weeks. Ah, a week. Yeah. yeah. Like okay, it's mine was done the by milk the first is day. not <laughs> the milk is not heavy. Yeah, mine was done by it's the first day. It's not heavy by like I think seven days. The milk I don't know. Anyway, yeah. for for me, it's mm-hmm. an immediate thing because I remember like this is my last baby. The milk the we were in hospital until day three. By that day. I couldn't lift my hand. Mm. Here, the lymph nodes were swollen, yeah. everything. I even asked the doctor, why are my lymph nodes swollen? He said, that's milk. milk. I had yeah. to send for my pump. I had to express in hospital and give them to store for me. Well, good for you. Yeah. Wow. So I think it also, dep- the, the, yeah. the doctors tell you, you can start expressing immediately. Mm. So for me, I always advocate, I always, even I told mm. Susan, start expressing immediately yeah, because immediately. You have the, the highest production is in, within, within those first, first three months. Yeah. 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 So if you wait until you're going back to work, then you won't have enough yeah. milk. Express yeah. and store yeah. if you can. Mm. Anyway. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Please tell us uh, your experience with breastfeeding and um, share, subscribe, comment, tell your friends out there and uh, keep watching us. 